Welcome to Common Man Cocktail Cider, your host Derek Schober. Oh, by the way, I'm solo this week. Duh. Nobody was here. Um, Ian no was friends. No, Ian was busy. I don't know what the Kurt is doing. He could be crying in fetal position. <laughs> uh, I, he, I did talk to him yesterday while he was driving home. He went to do a, a, a tasting or a, something, a, whisk, a class, and he forgot all his bar gear at home, and they had to drive home in all the traffic into Newton and then come back out, and he was all stressed out. Uh, so he's not here. Ian had a party to go to. And maybe he'll stop by if they get out early. I don't know. But until then, you got me. And we're going to be making the 2000 Flushes cocktail. This, yeah. The really? Name. Yeah. Didn't we do something like that? No, I, I Googled it. We have done the toilet water cocktail. Oh. Uh, I'm going to guess this is similar. It'd be, it's really easy. You take it blue curacao tasty, though. and you can make anything blue. And the first thing you may think of is either 2000 Flushes or those little urinal cakes. We need the urinal cake cocktail. And it'll have cake vodka in it. <laughs> uh, we're going to do a half ounce of one, two, three, four, five ingredients. Lemonade, Sprite, mango rum, blue curacao, spiced rum. For spiced rum, I'm using sherry cask, limited edition, Captain Morgan, because I can. Um, you can use whatever you want. I wouldn't use regular Captain Morgan because it sucks. But um, if you have private stock or anything else, uh, black, if you want to go Captain Morgan style. Otherwise, Sailor Jerry's. Uh, all the other ones that's, that exists, Blackbeard, anything that's just not original Captain Morgan. Cracking. Because it sucks. Cracking. Um, then you're going to do Blue Curacao, Mango Rum, Sprite, Lemonade. The Lemonade I made myself. Somebody may like the original. It sucks to your taste buds. It should suck to everybody's taste buds. If, it's not if, opposed if, to Cuervo. But it sucks. It's boring. It's like I follow, people hand me a, a Captain Morgan original and it's like I want to fall asleep in it. It's nothing, it's just not good. It's boring. It's not bad, it's just boring. And why bore up your cocktail when you should make it with something that's not boring? What I'm saying. Fine. I'm saying. Alright, so for this, I, I brought these, this whole bag of ice and I haven't needed ice yet. Oh, that's a lot. Just put ice in the cup right there. No, no, but the, the, I have my square ice for oh. like cocktails, and I haven't needed it, so I'm kind of I'm kind of sad. Oh, you know what? Dominic says Morgan Original is better than Sailor Jerry. Uh, personal preference in that case, uh, Sailor Jerry's is not my favorite. Sailor Jerry tastes insignificant. Captain Morgan tastes. You're talking about two that may taste insignificant. There's not a lot. Oh, Crusion Nine's another good one. Um, yeah, uh, Sailor Jerry's isn't my favorite out of a selection. If I had to select through a bunch of them, that probably wouldn't be one I choose. I you use it. Crusion is my favorite. Well, yeah. Um, I and I use it. What am I supposed to do here? Oh, this is supposed to go in last. I do like the private stock though. Uh, I would uh, use Sailor Jerry's. I use it mainly if Curtis is on the show because he has to have, for, the, for now at least, have uh, one of his products out there as would be appropriate. Boom, 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 boom. So we're going to pour in some Captain Spice mango rum and blue curacao. Then we're going to shake it a little bit. Then we're going to add, again, why are we going to shake it? I don't see why we have to shake that. but Because it has lemonade. No, we're going to top it with lemonade. Oh. We're also going to top it with Sprite. Oh, oh it's going to be so yummy. That's, you bring those things together and it's just like heaven in a bottle. But I don't understand why we have to sh shake it. Maybe it's going to give it a better color. Maybe that's what they said to do. So I'm going to do it. But that's what we're going to do. Plus I haven't shaken anything this week. Only the second show. Shh. As long as you release them in the right order. <laughs> yes. I'll say it's only the second show, it'll be the fifth. I always attempt to release them in the right order, except when I don't. Do, 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 do. You can put this in whatever type of glass you want. I figured because the ingredients are so small that I would just use um, a, a glass that was equivalent in size. Boom. Dun, dun. Oh, oh, spray it in my face. Now we'll carbonate that up. Boom. Done. You know, 
for it looks more like a tropical island coloring. Are you watching us from the video? Because I can't even see your head. How do you even see us? Huh? Yeah, I'm watching. Us. There's only you, first off. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, why does it matter? It's turquoise. Yeah, it's just weird. I can't, I can see, it's, I see your little, the top of your head, but, and you see what I'm doing, but I can't see what you're doing, so it's just weird. Yeah. <sighs> it smells really nice. It smells like, uh, citrusy, lovely. I don't even, almost like a, a, a new flavor of, of lemonade. You're gonna need to quadruple these ingredients to make a full drink. It might be sweeter. It, this might be a good size actually because it does have a lot of draw of, of sweetness. Um, and s s the lemonade, unlike say a sour mix, which tends to, it's, it's got sweet and sour balance, but lemonade tends to have a little bit more sweet bringing in some, some lemon. And this is a natural lemonade I made with simple syrup and just squeeze some lemon. So there's probably a little more tart to this. You could even make it sweeter. Uh, the Captain Morgan, you taste it lingering in the finish. It doesn't present itself right away and you wouldn't know otherwise that there's even a darker colored rum in here. It's, I think the sweetness has really come from mango. Because this stuff, all of their brands, whoosh, all the way down the line, tend to be pretty darn sweet. So that might be what's doing it. It definitely has a little bit of alcohol flavor to it, uh, uh, but more towards the sweet palate. Those that like sweeter drinks, bright colored martinis, this would be a good one if, you, if you're a bartender and you wanted to create a drink. I might rename it. 2000 Flushes to me, it, I imagine something that's more this color like full on blue curacao. And you know, it could just be that you needed to use a very, very light spiced rum for this, but that leaves you with Captain Morgan original. And I think that still, will, the color will still taint the blue a little, that was cool, a little more towards green, especially this with the yellow. So you gotta really work at it to get it up to the brighter 2000 flush blue. This looks more like Hawaiian beaches type sand sand and sand surf and awesomeness. So there you go. The 2000 flush is submitted by Jake. Jake, we need your cocktail. It's done. Now, question of the day. How no. Question of the day. What is the first musical uh medium that you used? Like my kids, they know the the MP3. They know mm, they probably would know a CD because they play video games, but they might, they've never had to listen to music on a CD. Cause I was just thinking, I was walking over from my foosball table and I had some of these leftovers. <laughs> Sorry, that was a, that was a sale. Um, you hear the, the kids echoing you up there? <laughs> well, they, <laughs> the kids were cheering on too. Um, this one's Cars. The cars. Oh, it's got deep purple on one side. Somebody must have recorded this one. Uh, it's even got noise reduction checked off. Yes. I don't know where I got that. Thing. And of course, the Jerky Boys. Is this yours or mine? I don't remember having the Jerky uh, Boys. That might be mine. I like the Jerky Boys. On tape? Side A. How uh, are you old enough to have used these? 8-tracks. I had just kind of escaped 8-tracks because uh, we had them in the car. I know my mom had them and they were, they were always on the floor of the car moving around. But my first real musical device was a record player, one of the small ones, like the whatever they call yeah, those, those mini, eight, ones. mini or eight or well, I don't I don't know. Know what they call. the small ones, 45. and it was forty fives. And mine was, I mean, at the time it was like Disney stories, because I remember as a kid having them, and I listened to them at night before bed. Um, I don't know if I ever shut off the record player because it would just go over and over. And then my real first, when I got older, I thought this was actually gonna be a white snake because this looks like my white snake. But how how did you first digest your music experience? That is a question, not alcohol related at all. So I don't know what you're gonna do. Um, it, what is the best rum you've ever tasted for sipping it alone? Best rum ever tasted for sipping alone? Is that a question to the yes, day? question of the day. Best sipping rum. For me, the Penny XO was really good. Uh, I know a yeah, lot. Yeah, that was really good. I, I know some 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 women friends who 
we'll just put like this cruise and mango or key lime on ice on ice and they're done that's it they're good to go with that which is a very affordable way of doing things this is like at least around here like nine ten bucks you get yourself a good time and you don't have to put a lot of work into it much fair sipping rum or are you more of the hardcore like i'm gonna sip some like single barrel state rums stuff like that that's, there's your alcoholic question of the day. So first, you're gonna tell me what your first style of music was, was listened on, because I bet you anything, based on the age 21, there are probably folks that watch this show that started at the CD level. And that was like where you started. I loved my first CD player. I was like, this thing's awesome. Skip songs. You don't have to rewind. You listen to the tape. I used to make backups of my tapes on stuff like this because they'd all get ripped and torn inside because I just rewind them so many times. And you get the rewinding that would slow down before it stopped. That was technology, man. Um, EverydayDrinkers.com. Classic martini glasses and our uh, decanters. You can always head out to AwesomeDrinks.com. These have been very popular. And oddly enough, since I started using these more, now we're getting sales. Eric now. still has two on, turntables. On about 112 inch singles. I really wish I had a record player. You could buy them. Like, I don't wish that much because you could buy them. And, and I think they even have ones that you can use to, to record onto MP3s and do, do other stuff with if you wanted. Why would you ever do that? That would drive me nuts. Because the fidelity of a record player is supposedly so good. No, you hear the little cracks all the time. I know. That's why I don't ever understand. I'm not a, an audiophile to the level of understanding how listening to it on a record player is that much better. But I guess if you have old LPs and you want to be able to to really save them, you don't want to rebuy, you want to make MP3s out of them or something. But I know they have new devices. They probably even have them that plugs into USB. You can listen on your computer. It's weird how we don't let things go. But I'm going to let this episode go. EverydayDrinkers.com. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>